today, before I begin this episode, I wanted to make something blatantly clear. Uh, today's episode is about RESTful versus RPC. And a lot of people will make the uh, comparison of REST versus RPC. Now, this is a very, very poor comparison because um, you cannot make an HTTP call to RPC, remote procedure call, um, without using REST. It, it's impossible. C comparing REST to RPC is, is comparing um, car to wheels um, or car to road. Uh, it, 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 it makes no sense. Um, <laughs> you want to compare, the proper comparison is RESTful to RPC which is what people are, are meaning to compare. They, they just are using the incorrect terminology. Don't make that mistake. It's RESTful versus RPC. So before I begin this episode, I wanted to make that clear up front. So without further ado, let's begin. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the new format. Today, we're going to be covering uh, rest versus, RESTful versus RPC. Uh, I almost said it myself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, tackle that real quick. So uh, the first thing, um, I uh, created a, a quick example resource of a company branch and employee, as uh, most of you know, um, our APIs um, will generally call a database backend. They don't have to, but 90% uh, of the time you're going to have some sort of database backend for your APIs. So in this example, we're going to be using a company branch and employee in a very hierarchical fashion um, as an example. And um, to start off with, uh, let's talk about RESTful. Now, RESTful examples generally will use CRUD, which is create, update, and delete. Um, and these map directly to the four basic REST calls, which are post, get, put, and delete. Um, and that is what a RESTful um, setup is all about. Mapping the four basic CRUD functions to each one of those REST calls so that with one URL um, call, you can simplify that URL call so that based upon your request method, the backend knows exactly how to handle and route that call. So the data that you're sending um, and everything, the, par the parsing is simplified. The URL is simplified. Everything is simplified so that you don't really have to think about that URL. You don't really have to think about it. And it makes it uh, far easier to automate that call. As you can see, um, you only need one URL for all four of those calls for the most part. You need um, different data for reading and creating and updating and deleting. Um, but uh, you only need the exact same URL for the most part. Um, now, this comes, this does have its own problem, however. Say, for instance, with branch, if I wanted to get the branch by the state, I can't do that. Because um, the way this is set up, is that I can only read the branch or update the branch or delete the branch or create the branch. I can't get a branch by state because there is no mapping for that. To create a mapping like that, I would have to create an entirely separate controller for four entirely different um, uh, create, read, and update, create, read, update, and delete, those four CRUD mappings for four new REST mappings. Um, and that's wherein RESTful really falls apart. Um, RESTful is very, very good at simplifying for CRUD applications. If you just have a CRUD application, a very, very simple application, then this is very, very good for that. But if you have a business application or, or something beyond just a blog, um, that's wherein it falls apart. Uh, 
as I pointed out here, if I need to get a branch by the state or get an employee by, by a position or, or things like that, and I need anything beyond those four basic calls, that's where RPC really starts to excel because RPC wants to duplicate business logic. It allows you to duplicate business logic better than RESTful does. Um, as you can see, we can call it by get branch by state, get employee by position, but it also allows you to have far more calls like get branch, get company branch, get branch by state, get employee, get branch by branch employees, get employee by position. So we can have as many gets as we want, as many posts as we want, as many puts as we want associated with branch and associated with employee and associated with company. Whereas RESTful will only allow you to have one get and one post and one put and one delete associated with branch and employee and company. It's very limited. It's very simple and it simplifies the entire process but it's very limited, whereas RPC is very flexible um, so that your business rules will always fit with RPC. Your business rules will always be able to fit into an RPC model. Um, on the, a lot of companies will use a bit of both, which is great. It's fantastic. Um, I would say, yeah, absolutely use a bit of both. Um, RPC is definitely uh, more scalable um, in the long run. Uh, RESTful is definitely something that you can put together and great for people just beginning and, and getting to learn APIs. But it's definitely not a scalable model, um, not in the long run. Um, your business rules are not going to fit a RESTful model in the long run. And I would say in the long run, you're going to have to switch to an RPC model eventually. Uh, if you need anything to uh, build out to uh, scale, if you have a company, so on and so forth, definitely use RPC. Uh, stay away from RESTful. Um, if, if you have a blog or something like that, very, very small business, if you're not trying to get anything done, just a small website or what, yeah, use RESTful. Just get out the door. Um, but uh, that's the difference between the two in a, in a nutshell. Uh, hopefully this was informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in, in, the, uh, in the video at the bottom. And uh, keep watching. Take care.